a documentary called Sirius that has nothing to do with Sirius the Star at all. That was my first turn off about this new documentary, which pretty much encompasses and highlights the whole body work of Mr. Steven Greer, who for years has been studying and promoting the UFO phenomenon throughout the world. And for those of us who are already very familiar with his work, there was nothing new here to watch. And apart from being ticked off that this film had nothing to do with studying the Star series as a possible source for human life, the whole documentary just looked as an enormous and lengthy tribute to Mr. Greer's work. This could have been called Steven Greer the movie and it wouldn't have made much difference in the end since most of the documentary was just about his life and his beliefs. And this is another of the points I had a problem with. As far as I understand, a documentary is supposed to present a neutral point of view about a topic, so the viewer can make their own conclusions and opinions about what's going on. But the whole time in this movie, they present a new age and meditation as valid and legit elements in human society. And they even went as far as to state they know what happens after death, as evidence when they described the death of Greer's best friend as she passed onto the world of light. Instead of the neutral and objective, she passed away. Who are they to affirm there is a world of light beside this one? And why would this friend go there and not somewhere else? I think stuff like this really ended up hurting everything that this film was trying to aim at, which was showing that the UFO phenomenon and extraterrestrial life was an actual situation in the world. In that aspect, the whole buzz about this tiny humanoid creature was also, I felt, a huge disappointment, because the end result of the entire investigation about the creature was inconclusive. It cannot be told if it's a deformed human or if it's an alien creature. All in all, no one knows what it is. In the end, I felt the only redeeming points of this documentary were the side guides moments, like talking about suppressed forms of free energy, even though they never managed to get that magnetic energy machine to work, and about all the money siphoned out of the American people that goes toward black operations by the US government. And only that, because everything mentioned on UFOs and aliens was already pretty well covered in Greer's previous effort, the Disclosure Project DVD, a much better rounded effort on his part. Compared to that, this documentary felt really short, and one has to wonder if a much better job could have indeed be done. If you watched this film, what did you think of it? Please leave me a comment in the section below. Thanks.